Hey all, my name is Ben Heintley. I'm a project geologist here at Sequent. And in the next five minutes, I'll be showing you how to create a thickness grid and thickness contours from a closed volume in Leapfrog Works. Okay, here we are in Leapfrog Works. And I am going to start this out from a geological model. Um, I already have a geological model created. I'm gonna bring in all the volumes just for a frame of reference. <clears throat> and we are interested in getting a thickness grid for this top unit that we're calling the casing. Uh, we want to understand how the unit, how thick the unit is, um, how how the thickness varies as a, as a spatial function, and we want to get that as in a, a 2D grid or um, something that can just be exported more easily to a deliverable, say a PDF. Um, so the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go over here to our output volumes folder and over here. I'm going to right click on the casing. I'm going to export a thickness grid. <coughs> Um, you'll be prompted uh, to add some settings to your, to your export. Generally, you can just leave these um, as the default, and I will do that. I'm going to export. It's going to ask you uh, to give it a name. I'm just going to overwrite the name that I already gave it. Um, it's going to ask you what you would, what type of thickness, uh, what type of grid file you'd like. Um, there's a few. I'm just going to save it as a .asc. Hit save here. Um, now I'm going to go over to my meshes folder, and I'm going to import an elevation grid. Don't be fooled. It is going to be a thickness grid. And I'm going to uh, just bring in that casing thickness that we just exported, open. It's going to prompt you again for some surface resolution uh, settings and some clipping boundaries. We're going to leave those um, as the default. Press import. I'm going to clear my scene so I can just see this elevation, this thickness, to, sorry, this thickness grid um, more easily by itself. <clears throat> um, first thing I'm going to do is create a color map that is uh, honoring the data that is exported. So I'm going to go down here, hit color map, hit just make a discrete color map. Um, you can see that our thickness limits between zero, about zero and about 40. Um, I'm just going to make about eight intervals so that the, the interval step is five. I'm going to do generate intervals, equal interval, eight, press apply, should be about five now between each color. Press close, I'm going to give this a name, this color map. Thickness, color map, press close. Now if I bring up the legend for this surface, I can see that we have the thickness uh, color map. <clears throat> if I want to make contours now from this mesh, I'll go down to my mesh folder, right click there, new contour lines from surface, select the surface. It's going to be our casing thickness grid. Press OK. I want about five foot or five meter intervals. I'm going to change the contour spacing to five. Press OK there. I'm going to clear my scene again so I can see these contours more easily. Click and drag the contours into the scene. OK, now we can see um, we have some contours on. I'm going to make a color map again. Discrete. Uh, I'm going to just change this to eight intervals, equal intervals. Supply, close, Just change this to thickness, color map, contours, Just close. Now you can see that we have uh, contours that are honoring our five foot thickness setting. The color map was not as necessary here because they're ISO contours. Even though it says elevation, this is now thickness. Um, there's one other thing you can do. Um, you can see that these data types are actually um, having an elevation feature to them. They are, are uh, uh, you know, there is a, a profile to it. If we want to make this just a two-dimensional surface, we can actually import our uh, our grid file that we exported earlier as a geophysical data type. So I'm up in the geophysical data folder. I'm going to right-click this, import the 2D grid. I'm going to bring in the uh, casing thickness. I'm going to clear my scene, bring this in from the geophysical data folder. Again, I'm going to make a quick new color map. It's very easy to create a color map that we could have just shared to all of these. Discrete, generate intervals, eat, equal intervals, apply, close, just do thickness. And there we have it. We have just a two-dimensional surface now, something that could be maybe exported to a, a PDF um, or another type of deliverable. Thanks for watching.